This is Devil Dancer. Welcome to Nomoria Let's Play. This is episode two. And today we are going to go into our population. Now the game is paused, so nothing's going to happen. Uh, but what we are going to do is go into our professions. Now the set professions they have here, they do try to help out. But I do like to tweak them a bit. Uh, this is our miner. Uh, they have him set for job priority mining, which perfectly fine. Uh, however, I do want workshop as their second priority. And let me see, what else do I want? How do I want this? Uh, we'll take the hauling up as the tertiary priority, and then from there, well, it's up to you how you want to do it and how you have them set. But I usually put agriculture so that they can just help gather if they needed, uh, if I give them that skill. But most everything here is really not that important. Um, hospital, maybe, if I do put them in. Now, actually, the tinker is important. I'll put that up above build. Put it up above hall. So their mine primary is going to be mining. Uh, secondary is going to be the workshop. Uh, they will be doing any of the metal workshops. Uh, stone workshops is to stone masonry, stone carving, and mining is what they're set for. So that is what they're going to be doing, and that is mining and workshops. Uh, I got them set for Tinker just on the off chance. They are set for hauling, so they got hauling there. Uh, I will not have a tinker workshop, but I may do metal. So, hmm. Do I want them to? No. No. I, I'm probably going to have the first wave of immigrants in before I need to set this up. Uh, engineering is tinkering. I'm sorry, there it is there. Uh, machining, engineering, and mechanic. I'm not even going to worry about any of that. In fact, I'm going to put the hauling above it since they do have that listed. Uh, as far as doctor goes, I'm not even sure we have a medic in this group. But they can pretty much bandage themselves at the moment. So this is where we're going to set them. Uniform is default. Um, it's basically whatever they're wearing. We're going to go to woodcutter. And of course, uh, for miscellaneous is hauling. And then in wood, they do wood cutting, carpentry, and wood carving. So if you come over here, their top priority is mining. Why would that even be their top priority? So we're going to move up agriculture because, well, underneath agriculture is fell trees. So then we're going to move up workshop. And we are going to move up hauling, which they have as last but actually hauling is a very important job. I'd rather have it above any of these others, even though they'll bypass all those others to get to hauling. Don't want to take the risk. So I'm putting it in, in this way. Um, we're going to move Grove up below hauling. Don't pretty sure they don't have it. Let's take a look at Ag. 
Um, it's horticulture and brewing. Horticulture is the groves. So yeah, they don't have it, but there's no reason not to have it there. Just on the off chance that the system reads felling the trees in a grove as part of grove. So we have farmer. Hauling is miscellaneous. Um, okay. Agriculture. They have horticulture, farming, cooking, brewing. These are many hat people. Uh, they're, they're also in charge of the cloth industry, weaving and tailoring, making the clothes. So we want farming as to be number one. Workshop is number two. Grove at three, because that grove will take forever. Um, they don't have pasture. They're not the rancher. Okay. So then we will move hauling up in underneath grove. And that should do it. So let's take a look at the rancher. Miscellaneous craft, he does leather working. I'm also going to give him bone carving. Uh, and the reason being is we're going to need a bone needle if we're going to do weaving and tailoring. Uh, we need a bone needle to do any of that, so we need somebody to carve it. So I'm just going to give them that. Uh, the rancher does animal husbandry and butchering. Um, you see agriculture, he does cooking. And of course hauling. Everybody does hauling. Whether they want to or not. So we are going to... Primary job is pasture. Then we're going to give him workshop because that will be the bone carving, the butchering, the cooking. Agriculture, okay, that is the cooking. So we'll move that up underneath workshop because, well, he's gonna have to butcher in order to get to the meat to make it. So let me see here. We'll move hauling up underneath agriculture. So that leaves mining, building, mechanic, hospital, farm, grove, tinker. All right. So, yes, that will work. Uh, builder. Um, builder is just construction and hauling. Okay, so build is number one, and hauling will be number two. The rest of it doesn't really matter. Blacksmith. Now, if I'm wrong on this, somebody go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, and explain to me why I would be wrong. Just not because I'm not going to believe you, but just because I want to know why I'm wrong, if I'm wrong. Uh, I did try to go to the wiki to look this up, and the wiki is gone. There is no wiki for this game anymore. So this makes it interesting because I'm going to have to fill this out because I haven't played since the last two updates and the updates don't go very often so we have a blacksmith there we go blacksmith does all that fun stuff and hauling all right so the blacksmith his workshop is going to be number one and hauling is number two
and we'll leave him at mining because I tend to let my blacksmiths mine some just for the metal. So we'll leave that there. We have our engineer. We don't even have any of these guys, but it's always good just to set them up. Okay, so tinkering, machining, engineering, and mechanic. So let's go with tinker. And I'll be building more specialized. I'll have it just a tinker. And for blacksmithing, I'll just have an armor smith, and, and that's all they'll do. But until I get the dwarves, until I get the gnomes, there's no sense of not doing that. So we got the tinker. We'll move mechanic under tinker. Uh, workshop underneath of mechanic. What do we have? And we'll take hauling up underneath workshop. I do get worthless gnomes, um, sad to say. They have no real skill value, and I'll just make a hauler. And that's all that gnome will do, just haul. All right, so jewelers. Um, gym cutting, jewelry making, and hauling. So, workshop and hauling. That's their primary and secondary. All the others, whatever. They, they can just do it when they do it. Um... But that will work for them. There's the deceased. I can make new ones. I can remove them. Um, assign. See, here's our dwarf or our gnomes. See, we got two miners, two masons, two stone cutters. Blah 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 blah. And I mean, when you start coming down, dang, you got really nothing yet. You need those waves coming in. Don't even have a medic. But if we take a look here, right there, those pop-ups are for military. We haven't even set a military, but ooh, hey, that farmer's got one heck of a hammer. He'd be a good hammer gnome. If we click on him, we can come in and see their skills, their fitness, nimbleness. Now, this one's our minor. And if we go to mining, which I'm overlooking, there it is up there. Is he a minor? Um. Bum, 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 bum. Profession builder. Excuse me, is not. Let's take a look at a miner. Tog. Interesting name. See, our mining's 23. Once he starts getting up there, he'll be able to go through stuff. Good. Um, masonry 32, stone carving 25. So he's pretty good at the. He's pretty good at the workbenches. What about our other miner? 23, 27. So it doesn't really matter. I don't have to. If you got one with really high skills, you can assign them to the workbench so it's theirs. But I don't have to worry about that. All right, so we got that set up. We're not going to set a military yet because we don't have the gnomes. Everybody fights, everybody dies right now. Um, it's help, stocks. I can change this up here, the food, drink, and 
all that but I don't have the stockpile set up so I won't touch that this is our kingdom here's our kingdom worth it's 1992 not that great but the higher it is the worse the attacks so we're okay right there of course the higher it is the more gnomes that you get all right so let's get this rolling I thought I hit play there we go all right so we do have gnomes chopping a lot of hauling going on um, they're cleaning up my rooms do we have anybody I don't see anybody working on these all right so let's go to overview priority now here's where I can assign gnomes to this but what I'm going to do is now is the prior higher priority better or lower that I've wanted to look up but without a wiki I can't so let's set this at a one priority and see if one of these two gnomes actually picks it up and goes. So what's the task of felling a tree? We're trying what's getting one. Hmm. It doesn't say. All right, so we'll just let them go. Let's just change this. I'm curious because I don't know. Oh my, this goes up way high. See, that's why I'm thinking this the higher, the, the more priority because why would a priority of one be when you can do 50? But I mean, it does nothing. I've, I've changed these before and have seen nothing. So do the priorities work on this? So, I mean, can somebody give me a little bit of a hint here? Give me, tell me, have you encountered how it works? Uh, of course he's gone over because he's done with his work. Uh, I should have somebody uh, you're hauling now. Plank for workbench. Okay, so that's activated. He's somebody's going to get it. There he is. All right. So we've got those guys working. We've got these guys working. Uh, I need that built and then I'm going to need a table. Let's see. Let me go back. Designate area. I need this as a stockpile. Okay. And I do want goods, but I want raw stone and blocks. Yes. So that's for the raw stone and blocks for the stonemason's room. This is the wood room. I do realize that I could probably put the stonemason and the woodworkers in the same room the way this is, as big as it is. But what I might do, what I'm hoping to be able to do is two of each hoping to get enough gnomes that stay alive long enough to do two of each. All right, so this is level five. I don't have torches though, but I do need to mine. So let's back this up. 
train mine wall. Let's run a length of 40 down that way. We'll put our miners to work. We'll see if we can find, I think that's dirt. No, that's sandstone. Really? Oh, that's down one. Okay. It's dirt up. I was confused. Doesn't take much. All right, so we're digging along. What we're doing is we're looking for coal. Kind of hoping for coal. I'd settle for copper. I will say that much. But it is giving us some stone as well. And there's some dirt and clay. There we go. And we're actually building the table. Okay, so I need... I need to build a workshop. Carpenter, see, it's great. I got the carpenter's workbench. The sawmill, I need a saw blade. In order to get the saw blade, um, I need a stonemason's workshop. So let's go to the stonemason. Rotate, and we'll stick the stonemason right there. So that will give them some work to do. We'll go back and we're doing the terrain mine, mine the wall. Let's go this way by 30. And yes, I am going to do things a little bit different than what most people will. Um, the way I give my gnomes runes is I give them a 3x3, three three, probably more than what they need. But I like it for aesthetics. It looks nice. And as far as, oh, it's wasting too much space. Well, you know, I have the whole map to dig. So space is not a problem. Uh, if it starts becoming a problem, I'll just take another level, put my miners on the lower level, leave my farmers and woodcutters up here as well as the soldiers it doesn't matter it just does not matter all right so that should give me plenty of room for housing for the gnomes who are all asleep All right, he's digging. He's asleep. Um, those guys are asleep. Hmm, my fields. That's right. I was going to make my fields. So let's go into agriculture. Farm. Um. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make six by six fields. Now, first thing I'm going to grow is wheat. Because these guys need to eat and I need straw for bedding. So I'm going to do another six by six. 
and I am going to do strawberries. And then we're going to come over here. Oh, and I can't do a six by six because of that. Ah. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, build terrain. Where is it at? Built floor. I want dirt. And I want it here. I want it here. Here. And here. Okay. So the builders will work on that. In the meantime, I'll get back into agriculture, go to farming. And he's done. So six by six, and I want cotton here. All right, so we got our wheat planted. We'll be planting strawberries and cotton. Now, the one thing I do need to have built as soon as this is built it'll take a little while but we are going to go ahead and call this episode here and in the next episode, we will continue on trying to establish a self-sustaining colony of gnomes. Uh, we will build a well right over here as soon as we get our stonemason up for the blocks to build it. We'll also get a uh, saw blade and get a saw mill built so we can tear these down and get everything organized. And we'll work on getting the rest of our items where they need to be. Uh, also, I'll carve out an area in here for the Great Hall for the gnomes. And we will work on decorating it. Maybe get some fortifications up, get rid of the ramps. Got a lot of work to do. But... That is for later episodes. This has been the Devil Dancer, and I want to thank you for joining me for this memoria. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.